everybody, welcome to another edition of Rotter Tube with your host Steve. Today I'm going to be going over filtration, mechanical filtration. Two of my favorite types. One, the sump sock that goes under your sump and filters out all the fish waste. Two, the Rotter Tube, which I designed. Patent pending, and I think you guys will love it. So this is a sump sock and it's made of felt. So the sock is gonna connect into the ring at the top of your sump, and all the water is gonna be captured through here, flowing out of here, all the uneaten food, and all the fish waste, known as detritus, it's gonna be caught in this sock. The only problem with these is cleaning them. It's nasty and it's filthy, you have to turn them inside out. You're gonna throw them in the washing machine, never detergents, okay? So generally I recommend buying about 12 of these at least and just swapping them out every three days. Keep them in a bucket in the garage somewhere out of sight and then do a whole load of sock laundry once every few weeks. So this is called the rotter tube. The top is a one inch PVC connection, okay? The bottom is a drain and all you do is you just Click this up into your one inch overflow. Instead of letting the overflow go into the sock, you're literally connecting it and it will stay connected. All the water flows out the bottom, all right? And inside, you're gonna have media. Now some people have used um, carbon. They put some carbon in there, so all the water filters through here. The benefit of that is every bit of water is getting filtered through carbon. Unlike if you use a, a sock to filter your water and you put carbon in a bag and just let it in your sump, or you use a reactor and you put the carbon in the reactor, not all the water is flowing through that reactor. You know some of that water is passing by your carbon reactor or it's passing by the carbon bag. Only a little bit of your water is being touched. Well with this, if you could put your carbon bag in there, all the water is flowing through it coming right out of your tank. It's all getting filtered by that carbon. I like to use this as my first line of defense for mechanical filtration. These come with the rotter tube and all you do is plop them in here. Three. Two is actually good enough, but I like to use three. Screw the cap back on and you're all set. It's really good at taking the particles out of the water. So every three to four days I'll just simply take this out of the aquarium the media comes right out and then you just rinse it. Now I've been asked if we make these in the 2 inch PVC connection as well. Yes we do. The rotter tube for the 2 inch PVC connections is going to allow for a 2 inch overflow PVC pipe to be connected. This is a 1 inch, right? That's what my tank is. Those of you with larger tanks are going to need the 2 inch PVC connection. So the rotter tube for those guys is going to be just a little wider just a little longer. Another benefit to using the rotter tube is there's a lot of water flow that comes right out of the tube and hits your sump directly, creating all these bubbles that you see here, which helps to oxygenate the water. The more oxygen you have in your water, the better it is for your fish. Beneficial bacteria requires a lot of oxygen to populate in your aquarium. The more beneficial bacteria you have, the better because the bacteria that lives on your rocks and in your sand and on your glass and in your sump, it breaks down all the uneaten food and fish crap and all that ammonia and it turns it all to nitrates at the end of the cycle and the nitrates are exported by your protein skimmer which you see here in the sump. If you would like to order the Rotter Tube, it's available at RotterTube.com which is the main website for the channel here, Rotter Tube. Also there's going to be a link below in the description of the video where you can click on it and order the one inch or the two inch rotter tube.